So on with the PTC cabin heater uh, replacement. So in the passenger side, we'll be needing to uh, access uh, this uh, general location here. Um, and uh, we've got um, uh, a PTC uh, heater here, this Gen 3, uh, that will, re will replace um, the um, Gen 1 out of this 2013 Tesla Model S. This was p particular one was pulled out of a 2018. So in five years, uh, they made some improvements. Um, whether the prior one was bad or not, uh, we suspect that it is bad because um, there's a blown f heater fuse uh, in the DC to DC con converter uh, box there. Um, and uh, so in any event, it's worth the upgrade. Uh, removing um, several of these pieces here, side piece, little trim here. Um, this front piece here, as well as the glove box will come out as well. So, um, and, uh, you'll see here, we were going to, uh, this, this is going to be found in this general area here, and it's going to run through the firewall, which is this little rubber grommet that connects through that, um, and then connects to the DC to DC converter. We'll kind of take you through that so you can kind of see, um, uh, it'll pop out of the firewall there. There's a little, um, I don't know if you can see there, a little, uh, the rubber grommet there follow that orange line uh down past the 12 volt battery and down into this area here the right uh, hand um, uh, uh wheel well here and uh you can see this particular one here the longest one of the three connectors is your uh ptc connector okay these uh panels pop up pretty easily just kind of a little wedge tool and a couple little area um points there and just pops right out the little clips this particular one has a little um, uh, connector there. You want to remove that. You can pop that right out. And these here, and this here, you just kind of shove the tool in, and it kind of pops right out. And then you can pull it down. There you go. We've got the front panel out here. Okay, and then on the bottom here is a little, a little cap piece, and you just yank on that, and that pops out pretty easily. And then, uh, somebody, then we've got um, six torque T20 screws that need to be removed here. Uh, and a couple more there. Looks like six. I'm totally one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then removing uh, wiring harnesses here. A little screwdriver. And then pop this clip up. And then pull out that this little thing here. Um, uh, there's a little, there's a glove box light there. You push it down and pull it out. All right, with the other two, the first two harnesses out. And then this here pops out. Looks like it pops out really easily. I don't think you need to do anything much there. So that's, that's the three wiring harnesses. And we've got the glove box out now. Pretty easy to come out with. Use the trim tool. I've already popped them out, but there's several uh, little brackets you pop them out and it's connected there and you just set that aside this one here same thing just pull them out pop them out here pretty easy um, pretty straightforward uh, and then you can start to see what's behind here it looks like some of the usb cables and a ptc heater there uh, and looks like a 10 millimeter uh, bolt here so pull that okay so there's a uh, a little trim piece uh, underneath, or a cover, I should say, uh, underneath here that comes across and partially blocks the PTC here. Um, but there's uh, two uh, T20 screws to remove, uh, and one right there, uh, and then the other over by the uh, the front uh, release latch right there. I've gone ahead and and uh, screwed those, and there's a little bit of a bracket here that it kind of attaches to and it just kind of now with those two screws out it should come out much easier there you go there you go it's down there you go and it looks like we have a couple uh wiring harnesses there to uh, unclip uh so that can, that can be fully removed Okay, so you're gonna wanna fully remove this piece out and then do that. Um, we're gonna pull out the, uh, har uh, the disconnect the, uh, the front manual release harness. So to do that, um, uh, there's, 
And as you can see here, you're gonna need a little uh, flathead screwdriver and there's a little uh, plastic piece that's sticking up there. You're gonna push that down. It may require a little bit of effort. Sort of push it down and slide it forward at the same time. And when you do that, then it, it sort of pops out here and then that gives you some more, gives you some room. Here, and then now it's just sort of take out the... Okay, so dis disconnecting that and moving it out of the way gives you a little bit more play to just kind of finagle this little panel and move it aside. What you really want is you're gonna need access to remove uh, this little air duct right here. So there's uh, there's two uh, Phillips screws, it looks like. Um, one of them, I'll try to get under here, show you there's one that's connected right here. Uh, and then there's another that's actually inside this little duct there. You can see, there you go. Another one there. And those two there, I've gotten one out. So I'm gonna take off the other one. So there we go. Yep, two Phillips screws. It's holding in this air duct here. And the air duct is up, up. There you go. And then now what we can do is try to get my ear so you guys can see a little bit better. Is you can pull this air duct out of the way here. And it looks like we might have to disconnect the uh, wiring harness there. Um, but what we're after is three primary screws that's holding in the PTC. So this is the PTC here. There's one screw here. There's one on the other side of that here. Um, and then a third one is right up top there. Okay, so with the air duct out of the way, don't need to disconnect the um, wiring harness. You can just move it to the side, but uh, we're gonna have th the three screws here. Again, this is the top screw. Um, PC, PTC there. There we go. Move that. I'll loosen it for now. There's a th second one here. Uh, all right, and the third one is hopefully you guys can see right in the back there. There we go. All right, there we go. All right, so we've got the primary mounts here removed and. Uh, you can see that the PTC is starting, is uh, disconnected, so we'll see about how we can kind of pull. Okay, so what we have here is there's a metal uh, kind of a brace uh, here that's uh, kind of blocking the top part of the PTC. So in order to remove that, um, there's four bolts holding in the metal um, uh, frame, and then there's uh, three uh, T20 uh, screws on the front here that need to come out. So you'll have four of these uh guys here that need to come out uh, they look like they have some uh, little loctite on there so this is 10 millimeter bolts uh so it was a little of a pain to get out but um a little impact tool or um uh, a little wrench i think i was a, a ratchet i should say uh would, uh is what i would recommend uh 10 millimeter um to to break loose and remove one bolt here there's another one right above that uh and then there's a third one here and the tricky one was just right back tucked behind here um that's where the ratchet comes in kind of handy and you able to get back in there um much easier to, to remove that and then um the three screws um on the front face here uh will get removed and then so now this whole uh thing and this metal piece here you can see that it's now loose uh separated from this front frame piece and we'll look to um remove that so I would move the air duct, just set it on top here. And then now this is loose, so you can kind of pull, uh, pull it down this way, push it forward, and then down. It should, it should be able to come loose here. There you go. Pop it down. And of course that air duct. Yeah. All right, so now we've got this out. And there's a little couple of harnesses there. It's careful here that we don't break any wires and let's just set it aside like that and then just set it upright uh, and think about maybe removing the uh, connectors if needed but we need the heater so that's right in here there we go all right so it looks like we've got a lot more access we had the three screws that we removed here there was also a little a uh, little communication cable looks like there that I'd um, 
I went ahead and there's a little, you know, just using your nail or a little screwdriver, you can pull the um, tab and pop that out. Um, and then just slide this out here. So that's kind of the extent of it there. So it looks like we've got some good play there to kind of start to work with. Um, and then, uh, of course, we have the, there's an orange cable going to the firewall back there. Okay, so we're sitting in the front here, and there's the firewall, and there's a little rubber grommet that the um, that we're going to try to um, push through the um, the uh, wiring harness uh, connector and yeah, push through the edges there. And there we go. Okay, so now looks like it's come through. Okay, um, I was able to finagle it through here. The um, You'll, you'll have uh, the, the wiring harnesses and the, the coolant hoses, uh, as well as the um, real big uh, negative uh, grounding um, terminal there uh, to the 12-volt battery. You'll have to uh, kind of move things around a little bit as you guys pull it out, but finally we got it out here. Uh, and then now we can begin, now that we've already pushed it to the firewall, we can Okay, so uh, I was able to uh, pull the uh, uh, the wiring uh, harness here for the uh, PTC, uh, which now I'm just gonna pull this back a little bit, and I'm just about able to pull it through. There we go. Uh, come on, come on. All right, here we go. There it is, folks. Uh, Gen one. PTC. Okay, so we're able to get the replacement um, Gen 3 PTC heater uh, installed here. So um, just a quick uh, summary. Um, there's a, uh, you're, able, you have to, you're, you're gonna have to work it uh, uh, around um, this piece here that you can um, well, the flex forward a little bit. There's enough give there to just barely get it in there, slip it in there so you can slide it in in place. So there's a little, you can see how it just slides right in um, and then uh, reconnect your communication port there. Uh, and then it's ready to be screwed in. There's one, two uh, screws on each side here and then one up top uh, as well, uh, and then you want to um, uh, then your your cable uh, feed it through. There's a little um, little uh, clip here that it mounts onto, and then feed it all the way through your the firewall. And then you'll want to, um, uh, of course, the rubber grommet there at the firewall, uh, and get that resealed, and then uh, pull it through, uh, reconnect it to your DC to DC converter, uh, and uh, everything else. So uh, reassembling should be pretty much opposite of what uh, we did to uh, disassemble it.